Imagine a place where homeless veterans, female homeless veterans, female homeless veterans with children are given the opportunity to heal, cope, and thrive. Welcome to U.S. Vets Long Beach. U.S. Vets started in 1993 with the idea that we had to do a few things in order to re rehabilitate homeless veterans. We had to provide housing, of course, to get them off the street. Uh, we also had to provide counseling to deal with their emotional issues and employment to get them back to work. Uh, since then, we have grown to 11 sites in five states in the District of Columbia, serving about 3,000 veterans every night. U.S. Vets Long Beach houses over 550 homeless veterans. 42 of those veterans are females, and nine of our female veterans currently are female veterans with children. In order to serve the number of veterans that we serve every night, uh, we get uh, financial support from a variety of sources, the government, of course, uh, private foundations, uh, corporations. 88 cents of every dollar that we raise is spent directly on veterans, uh, so we think we're very efficient, even though we're, we've become the largest program in the country providing services specifically to homeless veterans. As many American Legion Auxiliary members know, helping homeless veterans is a daunting task. Helping homeless female veterans, especially with children, is challenging with a multiplier. It's very difficult for a female veteran who is homeless to navigate life. And that difficulty is compounded when you are a female veteran who is homeless with children. And what better group to help tackle the problem than American Legion Auxiliary members? I've been volunteering at U.S. Vets Long Beach for about three years now and we came upon the idea to pair the women veteran mothers and their children with a creative outlet. The result? The Children's Learning Center project, funded by a generous grant from the American Legion Auxiliary Foundation. We first heard about the American Legion Auxiliary Foundation grant program a couple years ago at National Convention. We were excited at the ease of filling out the paperwork a couple months later, we heard back that we were given the grant. Our own Department of California matched the amount, and now here we are. The new Children's Learning Center provides a myriad of learning opportunities for children who live at the facility. Computers and educational software, games, books, toys, art supplies, all in a room dedicated to kids. Children who at one time, if they were lucky, lived in cars, but usually on the street, existing with no regular meals, with little or no regular access to health care, much less running water, and certainly without educational opportunities in a safe, loving environment. Helping these children thrive and witnessing moms on the road to a productive, stable life is beyond heartwarming. It's why the American Legion Auxiliary exists. My kids love to roam their computers, books, anything that you can name that's educational for two thriving minds. And it wouldn't have been possible without an auxiliary member with a dream, made possible by an American Legion Auxiliary Foundation grant. Thank you, American Legion Auxiliary Foundation. The challenges that homeless female veterans with children face have been lessened by your generous gift. Thank you, American Legion Auxiliary Foundation, for the support that you've given our program, particularly our women's program here in Long Beach. Uh, women uh, veterans need a lot of assistance. Uh, we have a very complex program here, and your support means everything to us. Thank you. For more information on how your ALA unit or department can apply for a Veterans Projects Fund grant, visit alafoundation.org. Find a need, come up with an idea, apply for a grant, and witness something great.